Welcome. Today we're going to be taking a look at Space Base. This is a two to five player card drafting dice rolling tableau building game where you take the role of Commodore in command of ships. You will be docking ships and deploying ships trying to spread your influence and get promoted to Admiral. How do you get promoted to Admiral and win the game? By having the most victory points at the end of the final round. The final round is when a player reaches 40 victory points. Now that we know what the winning condition is, let's take a look at the components, setup, and how gameplay works in Space Base. Now let's take a look at the components. Player boards or command consoles. In each player color you have starting ship cards, dice, ship cards with levels 1, 2, and 3, colony cards, victory point cubes, income cubes, credit cubes, charge cubes, start player card, and rule book. Now let's take a look at the setup. We're going to be setting this up for a three player game which takes five steps. Step one, get in place player components. Each player will get a player board or command console. Pick a color and get the corresponding starting ships and a cube for victory points, income, and credit. You're going to place the player board in the center of your play area. Place your ship cards in the correct sector which is the number located in the top right of the card. You'll place a victory point cube and an income cube on zero on the matching tracks on your player board or command console and the credit cube on five. Step two, place colony cards. In the middle of the play area, place colony cards in ascending sector order. Step three, separate, shuffle, and draw ship cards. Separate the ship cards based on the level, one, two, and three. Shuffle each stack, place them in the center of the play area, and draw the top six from each deck face up next to their deck. Step four, create a supply pool. Create a charge cube supply pool in reach of all the players. Step five, determine the start player and resources. Each player will draw a level one ship card from the deck, pay the credits for the card, which is located in the top left of the card, place the card in the corresponding sector, and deploy the current card by turning it upside down and tucking it under your board at that same sector. When doing so, the red box will be showing under that same sector. Then the start player is the player with the highest sector number drawn. If there's a tie, you will roll the die to break ties. Give the start player the start player card, and then going clockwise, second would get one credit, third gets two, fourth gets one income, and fifth gets one income as well. Now let's take a look at the gameplay. A game consists of rounds of player turns until a player reaches 40 victory points, which then triggers the final round. A player's turn takes six steps. Roll the dice, allocate the dice, gain rewards, buy a card, refill the shipyard, and adjust your credits. Now let's take a look at each of those steps in detail. At the beginning of your turn, you have the option to trigger abilities before rolling. These are indicated in the text on the card. Keep in mind that active player abilities are blue or green, and non-active player abilities are red and green. Step one, roll both dice. The active player will roll both of the dice. Step two, allocate dice. Every player will determine if they want to use the sum or each die separately. Step three, gain rewards. You'll get the rewards on the card. The active player will get the blue rewards and can trigger blue and green abilities. And non-active players get the red rewards and can trigger red and green abilities. Step four, buy a card. The active player can buy one card. If you buy a card, place it in the correct sector and deploy the card it is replacing. So you would turn it upside down and place it under your player board under the same sector. You can trigger abilities after buying a card if desired or possible. Colony cards, when purchased, are a one-time victory point card. When placed, they cover a sector for the rest of the game. Step five, refill the shipyard. If a card was bought, you would replace it with a card from that deck. Step six, adjust credits. You'll pay for the card, and if your credit is below your income level, you would move the credit to match the income level. Now let's take a look at the rewards on the ship cards. A yellow circle represents credits. The planet icon is income. The ship icon is victory points. The arrows gain benefits next to the card in that direction. Keep in mind that you cannot have infinite loops of arrows. You can only use that arrow one time on a turn and then you would gain the reward. Text. When there is text on the card, follow the text. Abilities. These are the boxes with white circles in the top left. You would place a charge cube when allocating dice to that sector. It is considered to be charged if there is a charge cube in an unconnected square or if it is full if there are connected squares. These have the link symbols. When it is charged, you can activate the white circle ability based on the color. If it is blue, you have to be the active player. Red is non-active and green is any time. Keep in mind that any charges on a ship 
would go with that ship if it was deployed. Reward and charges, when the charge squares have credits above the charges. Dice arrows, this would allow you to move the sum of the roll, then turns would continue going around until a player reaches 40 victory points. When this occurs, they trigger the final round, so we would finish the current round, and then the player with the most victory points at the end of the final round is promoted to Admiral and wins Space Base. 